Oh, boys and girls, the last episode didn't quite go to plan after missing out on promotion. I thought I'd done a good transfer window. The game disagreed and we ended up going six games without a win. We are down in mid-table in a season where we are supposed to be getting into the Football League. We've already confirmed I'm not as good at Football Manager as the AI because in AI World Earth 1 non-Lita Legend, Leamington got promoted and... In this universe, Peterborough spent less money and finished higher in the championship. So I'm 2-0 down against the AI. Today's the day we come back. I forgot how desperate the situation was on Friday afternoon. Um, I mean, if you weren't in the stream, look at the state of that. We finished second on 92 points last year. I'll keep hammering that home because 92 points every other season in the history of the conference would have been enough to win automatic promotion. It wasn't last year, obviously, because we got it. And it's actually more than six games. It, no, it is six games. Six games without a win. We did start to turn things around towards the end of the stream on Friday, though. So hopefully the corner has been turned, but the damage has kind of already been done. We're 14 points behind Ebbsfleet. Otherwise, I mean, the best we can hope for now is to be in the playoffs again. What's got... Uh, I mean, what's going on here? Someone had three shredded wheat for breakfast. He's got 14 goals already for Bromley. They've only played 10 games. I mean, how does that happen? So last year, in the league below, he only scored 12 goals in 29 games. At 26 years old, he's taken a step back up to the league above and has already scored more goals than he did in the whole of last season in just 10 games. What on earth has gone on there? I can't sign him. Look how much money he's on. He's on one and a half grand a week. We're already over our wage budget and we don't have a single player at the club earning that kind of money. Um, Okoronkwo is on 1.3. Humphreys is on 1.2 and I'm kind of regretting both of them I think we've I think we've broken our wage structure unnecessarily there and I think that's part of the problem how's Dynamics doing Dynamics is turning around right we're going to be fine we're going to win some consecutive games now let's get through to the first match oh good it's not County. you're second in the league the big money boys ah he's out for six months is he oh he's broken his leg remarkable what a time to be alive oh for goodness sake <laughs> Uh, what goes around comes around. It's not quite a broken leg, but we've lost Marley Redfern for a little while, which is unfortunate. Oh, we haven't got an assistant manager either, have we? Angry past Kev sacked the assistant manager as well, I remember. Um, that's why we turned the form around. Pump the fists. Don't let our good run of form come to an end. Yeah, if Theodros was scoring goals for fun last year, playing as a second striker in a front two. We started the season trying to do that. It didn't work. So we've gone back to the tactic that does work, which is working. And the problem is Theodros doesn't really fit into it. So our options are play him up front on his own, and he's not really a main striker, a lone striker. We'd effectively be playing with a false nine up there, and we're not that fancy. Or we have to play him in midfield. I'm toying with the idea of him maybe being an attacking midfielder, but... We're really low on central midfielders. So at the moment, Berry is good. Humphreys is good. Theodros is good. There are three midfielders who are any good. That wasn't supposed to happen. What has just gone on there? I was busy, too busy dancing. I looked back round and we'd gone from having the ball safely in Wooster's hands to the just conceding a goal. Um, right, so everything's fine. Kev looks away and dances. Gives the... That was not Wooster's fault. That's new boy Thomas is getting the blame for that. Wooster did exactly what he's told to do and distributed to his centre-backs. Um, which I might tell him not to do. Maybe we'll go back to um, long kicks over the top of the opposition defence for Roberts to chase. Well, this new guy was worth the money. 700... Oh, God. I was in a good mood when we started. 
It's, ta it's taken eight minutes. What is going on? Maybe we go back to the good old 4-3-1-2. We don't really have wingers. Maybe this is the problem. Maybe we need to go to a more narrow system. But I don't think we have a holding midfielder, so perhaps 4-3-1-2 is how we do it. That's what we'll do for the next game. Oh, look at that. Theodros is a good attacking player. Hey, I tell you what, he's quite good going forward, isn't he? Shut up and go away, all of you. I'm trying to want to play football manager on my own in my cupboard. And you lie here with all your, I told you so. I to Get out. Get lost. Oh, I hate the world. <laughs> God, I hate the world so much. <laughs> Oh, my word. Right, do we need a new coach? Oh, no, assistant manager, of course, because I sacked him. I remember. I angrily sacked him for being a numbskull. Right, I want this guy because he's got the best balanced attributes. Chris Dagnall. Oh, he's clean shaven. <laughs> Don't know if I can cope with having a clean shaven guy around all the time. He'll be too perky and chipper and look at my skin look at my look at my bony chin grow up chris and stop shaving every day goodness me it's fine it gives me a reason to sack him if it doesn't work out i don't think we can actually pay that compensation we can't so we're gonna have to go with the one guy who's not got a job there you go a little bit of a little bit of fluff on there that's more like it mark ricketts we're now going to do What's known in the trade as a football goal. Okoronkwo. And he scores. Hey. Sawyer Chris Gaming, thank you for 20 lovely months. Oh, we've done another one. Okoronkwo's on form. So he scored a header from a football goal corner free kick thing. How many times have I lost in the playoffs in the last couple of FMs? I think the record is currently 11 consecutive playoff defeats across multiple saves. And I've lost more times than that as well. It's just 11 in a row at this point. I don't understand how I'm so broken in the playoffs. We're definitely going into the playoffs. In fact, Ebsfleet is starting to wobble by the looks of it. It's only... A, bear in mind, we drew that last game. It's now down to an 11-point gap. We're not even at the halfway point of the season yet. We could still go up as champions. Wouldn't that be a thing if we did? Did I win the Premier League? Yes. Yes, I skipped forward a few, a few matches. Didn't want to bore you. Didn't want to bore Charlie. So I missed out all the matches. And we've just gone from first day of the season to last day of the season. And yes, we did win the Premier League. That's why today's interesting. It's for Charlie. We've not had weather on traffic yet. I know, I'm slacking a little bit. Weather is, it's a little bit overcast and a little bit cold. But I'm doing them together. I'm throwing routine out the window. Uh, traffic is baffling because all the vans have gone. Remember, there's been vans out there. For ages, there's just been vans everywhere. Vans akimbo. They've been like flags. Vans like flags out there. Um, but they're all gone. It's completely clear out there again. Andy's bus will be there soon. Probably all wearing hazmat suits because he's in the infected class. Um, yeah, he'll be he'll be home shortly. He'll tell us it's cold because he doesn't like to wear his coat on the bus and it is cold. I can feel I'm not wearing any socks and my feet are cold. Might have to put some socks on, which is rare for me. I don't like to wear socks. I like to have my feet, on my feet and fingers, the same level of covered. Just a thing. It's just a, 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 just a thing. Um, but it's chilly out there. But the roads are clear, which is always good. And Armstrong, I'll go, I'll go flex. Has scored his first goal in about a year. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. Oh, God, I hope Charlie's all right. Did someone keep him entertained while I was away? Who? Charlie. Charlie the Wang. Um, he gets really bored if you don't talk about the one specific thing he wants you to talk about the whole time. Um, so I hope he's all right. I feel for him. We bought Charlie an NES. He's okay now. I'd love another NES. Yeah, I saw one of them. The I've got, I mean, I say oh, I'd love okay. one. I've got the, got I can't pull it out. It's trapped in there, but I've got the little mini one that came out a few years ago, I think. But don't like hold me to it. Of course he was going to score. Only his second goal of the season as well. Don't ever notice a player in the opposition, boys and girls. This should be a lesson to all of you. It doesn't matter if you click on them or not. Just by noticing them and acknowledging they exist, you are taunting the FM gods and therefore forcing a goal against. It's just the way it is. Those same people who quit to complain if Norwich bankrupted themselves trying to save. Yeah, exactly. And I mean, look, I would rather be Norwich doing what they do 
and West Brom operate on a similar basis. I'd rather follow that model than be Bolton or Portsmouth or Wigan or Sunderland or any of these other clubs who weren't really good enough for the Premier League but spent money they didn't have and then when they inevitably got relegated anyway which they all do eventually when they inevitably got relegated anyway because they ballsed up their finances trying to play with the big boys when they shouldn't have done they ended up in free fall and financial problems Norwich won't have that West Brom don't have that I'd much rather be a well-run club and it's not as if Portsmouth are the only example I, I reeled off five just there and then and there's going to be plenty more examples Bradford another one that springs to mind all these former premier league teams who are now down in the lower leagues struggling because they wasted their money yeah charlton are another example yeah you can just reel them off in five years time norwich will be still be getting promoted from the championship and all these other teams will be down in league one in financial troubles who would you say is the worst example of it what of wasting money leads probably leads are the Leeds fell the furthest and the hardest and got stuck down there the longest. Leeds was a really extreme example of it. If Leeds hadn't have done what they did, they'd have just been a Premier League club forevermore and they'd have been fine. But Leeds were trying to trying to become Manchester United. Did that goal not count? Hold on. I just saw a score and equaliser and now we're 3-2 down again. I was like, oh, well, 3-3 three, is fine. Did that goal get disallowed at the end? Why? Offside. It was an it was from outside the area. Yeah, Blackburn didn't collapse with, because the money ran out. Blackburn went back where they came from when the rich owner pulled out. It's a slightly different scenario. Yeah, he was offside. I'll allow it. 